Let's get it, y'all. We about to get into some spiritual hustler advice. You feel me? What to actually do with the knowledge and wisdom we have in a world like this that's based off business and surviving and, you know, their dumb, dumbass Masonic man-made system for now until that shit finally fully changes over time. Who knows how long that would take, though, if it would even happen. So I'm pretty sure some of y'all saw the last vlog I did. So of course I would be in the mood to make a video like this. You feel me? I'm already in this energy for now. I was just talking to my friend Kevin, shout out Kevin, about all the shit, all the shit I'm about to do and balance, on, balance out, you feel me? Because there's so much that I can do to help my situation overall. You know, I don't have to limit myself to just a few certain things. There's a lot of things that I've done in my life that I should, I could bring back and continue to do. You feel me? Um, but yeah, because some of these things that I let go in the past, I let go because there was other things in my life that showed more promise at the time. You feel me? But that's, but that's how you get too comfortable though. You feel me? You don't want to get too comfortable. You always want to stay on top of everything. Now, I'm not saying to get lost in shit that don't work better than other things. But if there's something that you could provide, like a certain skill or a certain trait or something that you have that you could offer to the world, don't just completely throw that shit away just because there's other things in your life going on that's showing more promise. No. You just utilize all your time to take to do whatever spirits tell you to do moment by moment according to each thing so never get too comfy with just doing a one thing or limiting yourself to a certain way of going about shit if you have especially if you got free time if you have free time throughout the day that should be spent on finding other ways to expand yourself besides the shit that you usually do on the daily you feel me I'm going to go over examples of what I mean by all this. You feel me? So let's get into it. This is titled, Utilize Everything You Know and Like to Do. Look at yourself as a walking world full of different businesses. And each business is just a different side of you or a different skill that you have, that you enjoy doing, that you should be able to offer to the world for sale. You feel me? Unfortunately, we live in a world where it is based upon their monetary system for now. So I do want to add that, you know, at the end of the day, um, spirit wants you to ha spirit wants you to have a respectable purpose and intent, which includes helping change the world for the better and for spirit. So. You know, you can take all this knowledge and wisdom I'm about to give y'all along with whatever the fuck else life taught y'all and y'all could apply it and reap the benefits of it and just keep it all to yourself. You can you can do that if you really want to. Um, you got the free will to, but at the, but at the end of the fucking day, you need to know this too. Um, spirit is only going to fuck with spirits that don't limit themselves to just their own selfish agenda, their own selfish growth, their own selfish expansion. You feel me? Obviously, you know, you can only help the world so much with just one person. Teamwork make the dream work. It's going to take a lot more than one person to help a lot of a lot of motherfuckers. And also, you got to take into consideration a lot of motherfuckers don't want to be helped and you can't help them no matter what, because the only true way to help people is by helping them help themselves. Right. I have a whole video on that. That's the um, you could go watch that. Uh, but my point is, you do want to at least put your intent and a large percentage of your purpose into trying to help the world in whatever ways you can, in whatever limited way you can, as a limited vessel for all possibilities, or what y'all humans call God, universe, the ex infinite expansion and contract traction of the overall space, the infinite um, growth of all existence and whatever you you if you really want to be with spirit you got to be in that same energy of just overall growth so if you do want to just limit everything you reap 
all the benefits you get from whatever it is you do if you really just want to limit it limit it to yourself then just know that um energies in the universe ain't really gonna side with you that much you feel me and i mean there i shouldn't even put it like that because you know there ain't no it's all subjective po uh, positive and negative and shit but i will say this the one objective thing of life that you could always look at is growth so yeah you could limit yourself to growing just yourself but t but i like to take that a step further and be like man fuck that that's a limited ego that's a limited way of going about this life that's like the rest of these lost ass humans that are just trying to you know go for their own selfish gain and whatever and we are and, and i don't give a fuck how rich or powerful you are as a spirit in this world you still you ain't shit to me in my eyes compared to other spirits that i actually you know have mad respect for that taught me a lot and gave me a lot of wisdom on things like this. You feel me? Shout out, motherfuckers like Dolo the Pilot Man. So, and he be, he and he was talking about this very same thing not too long ago in one of his lives. So, I just want to put that out there for y'all. You, you know, the more it's not just about, you know, it's not just about the amount of different traits and skills you have to offer into this world. It's also about the amount of wisdom and knowledge you have on how life works. Period. You feel me? So the more wisdom and knowledge you have on how life works, the better off you are because you will be in the right alignment and on the right side of all possibilities, which wants the world to expand infinitely. You feel me? Uh, anything else that's a form of limitation is not, on, is not on the side of all possibilities. That's on the side of limitation. You feel me? So... And if, and if y'all humans, and since y'all humans love to call it God and shit, if y'all truly want to be with that shit, learn to be all possible like it. Don't limit yourself to just one way of going about life as if, oh, this is just a world where I got to get my own and that's it. Yeah, everybody got to be like that to a certain degree. You know, but yeah, not everybody deserve, you know, to be connected with you because they're demons and shit. But it's like one of the videos I put out not too long ago called don't let low vibrational spirits drag you down to their level don't let society's programming drag your infinite all possible mind to their level you feel me you ain't gonna get respect in the future for being just another puppet or another um goddamn agent you know even if you were to be successful as fuck if you ain't did nothing with that money but spend it on yourself and shit you ain't shit in the eyes of all possibilities and the future ain't gonna remember your ass point blank period you won't be in those history books you feel me because think about it when they show y'all their human history whether it's whether i now this i don't know the percentage level of how much of it is made up versus how much of it is true but when you look at their history books these masonic history books that they program us in, in school to read and shit what you gonna see you gonna see, read about motherfuckers that changed the world whether it was like a social movement leader or a certain inventor that invented some shit or just certain times of people that did certain things you feel me and guess what the things they did benefited humanity as a whole sometimes you feel me obviously there's a lot of evil shit too but that's besides the fact you feel me so really take that everything i just told you into consideration when you're going about your life you feel me because even even a lot of motherfuckers who who are fulfilling their purpose on this earth sometimes their intent and purpose could be fucked up and limited because they get everything they've ever wanted but then they still feel unfulfilled inside maybe it's because you're not being with spirit or all possibilities or what y'all humans call god to actually utilize your position and power to put other people in positions of power you feel me to, or the ones that at, at least deserve it you feel me i'm not saying to just go out and help anybody because not everybody like i said earlier some motherfuckers just want to be slaves and sheep and stupid and weak and not do anything for themselves that's on them though you feel me that's on them so you can't help those who don't want who, who don't want to help themselves pretty much but anyway back to the topic 
So yeah, that's what happens when the more wisdom and knowledge you have, you get you get to tap in onto how life really works, and you might actually get some help from spirit. You feel me? If you just help it back, you feel me? And spirit don't give a fuck about none of this petty human shit that y'all get lost into to to feel like y'all living lavish and shit like that. You feel me? So keep that in mind. The more wisdom and knowledge you have on these things and how life works from an overall enlightened perspective, the better off you are. You won't even be you won't even get too lost into the demonic world and all the shit they try to offer y'all with. You feel me? You'll be above that shit and you can have fulfillment without caring about all that shit. Real shit. And watch the real spirits who don't care about all that shit. They go and change the world. I watch. They're going to change the narrative. They're going to be the ones to take what is currently seen as cool and shit such as flexing and doing all this dumbass shit that don't do anything for the world or whatever they're going to take all that energy away from them because they're going to be seen as more real when you actually put yourself in a position of power to actually do something for somebody you feel me so who, who y'all for example who y'all think gonna get more respect um someone like i don't know uh oh i know all right, this is easy, y'all. Who who y'all think is going to get more respect? Someone like Akon, who's doing, you know, the shit they doing with their solar panel shit and whatever the fuck else that man been doing. Someone like that or someone like Blueface. I now y'all know damn well Blueface ain't doing shit with it with whatever money he has left over. You feel me? So, just look at it like that. Who let's let's come up with another example. Who you think is going to get more respect? Oh, I know. Perfect example. Who y'all think is going to get more respect? Someone like Charleston White? Or just another drill rapper pushing the same shit, the same narrative. And, not, and, and, and the same old toxic shit that we don't need no more. That outdated ass, that outdated ass lyric content. You feel me? Like It's shit like that that y'all humans got to take into consideration. So, now to move on with this the more different not only so the more wisdom and knowledge you have on how life works the better off you are the more now check this out too the more different skills you have that you enjoy doing the better off you are as well because a lot of motherfuckers want to limit themselves to just one thing why limit see you you could be like me i'm a producer audio engineer um musician rapper singer uh, uh spiritual podcaster um consultant spiritual consultant semi-professional astrologer audio and visual services anything creative that creative wise that you could think of audio or visual wise i do so i'm not just going to limit myself to the title of rapper that's dumb that's outdated now i understand some people want to focus on their favorite shit because that's their favorite thing to do and it's niche and that's their niche thing which ain't nothing wrong with that if you can get by doing doing just one thing go ahead but why limit yourself to just one thing when you can have multiple different things that you enjoy to do and do all that too especially if you ain't even fully if you don't have a solid enough foundation to get by with just that one thing you like to do you might as well motherfucking spread into the other shit you know how to do so you can get a more solid foundation to get by in this life and and or or to come up even more you feel me so why wouldn't you get into all these things you feel me i'm pretty sure if i get into certain positions i'm not gonna just limit myself to what i currently do Shit, I'll jump into directing and shit. If I have more resources and, and, and shit, who knows? I might be a filmmaker one day. Like, oh, you feel me? Like, you never want to really limit yourself. Um, Which, I mean, you can it's, if you really want to. Like, it's not really no right or wrong to it. It's subjective. But I'm just saying that you're, you're better off the more you know when it comes to skills, the more you have to offer to others. You feel me? And that's also more teamwork make the dream work, too. Um... Because you don't want to be an isolated spirit or too isolated. There's a lot of dangers of associated with that. And we're going to talk about that in the next podcast video, not this one. But the more skills you have, the more connections you can make technically. You feel me? It's like what Uriel be saying about having multiple back pockets. The more back pockets you have, the, the, the more straight you are. It's like having multiple safety nets. 
It's like having multiple sources of income and shit. I mean, shit, millionaires and billionaires do this shit. They just do it with different investments and different types of businesses they, they fucking, you know, put their money into and shit. It's the same shit with this, but this time, but in this context, we're talking about the skills that you have that, that you can that you enjoy doing and you can utilize these things out of nothing but your pure spiritual power of having that skill. You feel me? It takes power to be creative. It takes a uh, spiritual energy and spiritual power to be creative or to be skilled at something. It don't even gotta be just creativity. It could be whatever the fuck it is you do, whatever purpose or passion you have. You feel me? Um so so never stop and never stop growing and always continue to learn more and expand off things you would enjoy doing if you can now if you can balance all these things then you got you turn your spirit into a well-oiled machine you, you're, you're you're a walking world now that is becoming a sufficient organized city you feel me think of it like that type shit the more you the more skills you have because we are walking worlds we're just smaller spaces within the overall bigger space, AKA smaller spirits within bigger spirits. So, yeah, and the bigger your spirit is, the more capable you are of many different things versus a more limited, smaller spirit who only probably can do like one or two things, you feel me? And like I said, ain't nothing wrong with having a specialty or focusing on one thing, but if you ain't, fully straight with just that one thing if your foundation of income and stability is weak you might as well start expanding off the other things you know how to do as well to gain a bigger reach a bigger audience more connections to more people because you know how to do more things you could be utilized for more shit you could be hired for more shit you feel me you have more more shit to do especially if you got free time too um, like I was talking about in the, the vlog I, I did before this, like I, I, I still had free time. I still have a lot of free time that I need to fill up with other shit I could be doing to help expand myself as a whole. So if your time isn't fully booked or busy, expand off other things. If you still need more of a solid foundation or more income, keep that in mind. Um, gather all your skills all the all the things that you can do that could be offered to the world and whatever it is you're good at and enjoy just gather these things and balance out these things you can even you can even gather all these things into one organized location like a website or you could separate them into different websites it really don't fucking matter but just look at write down a list of all the shit you like to do that you think that you can offer to the world as a service and go and go in on those things now obviously how you prioritize these things is different for you according to each spirit subjectively you feel me for example i probably prioritize certain things over other things you feel me music is one of my top ones you feel me uh but you know there's a lot of other shit i do too that i'm gonna balance that out with you feel me um uh, So yeah, now don't limit yourself to just one skill. Um, there's a lot of shit I used to do back then that I just stopped because it wasn't working really good or gaining a lot of traction, but I'm gonna bring it back just to fill in that extra free time that I have. You feel me? I used to, I used to be in that type beat game. I used to sell a lot of type beats. Um, well, I didn't really sell much at all, but um I, I had a little bit of a traction off that and, and that's not the point the point is i let go of something i could have still been doing who knows how far i would have got with that if i would have kept doing it you feel me so now how i pace myself and balance that shit with the rest of the shit i'm doing and how i prioritize shit that's all subjective and a whole nother thing so y'all spirits gotta do y'all gotta, gotta look at everything y'all do and figure out okay what am I going to put most of my energy into and what are going to, and then what are the versus the things that I'm going to put less energy into, but you still want to utilize all these things, especially if you got the free time to do, to do so. For example, I don't, when I, when I, every day, if I already made a song or recorded a verse, or if I already did a podcast video, you feel me? I could be working on some other shit, whether it's passing out my cards, 
or getting ready to set up my beat selling store again on my website and, or, or collabing with somebody creatively or, or, or helping a client that needs one of my visual or audio services. You feel me? Like there's so much different shit and, and always try new different shit too. Oh, you feel me? Like you, oh, you, you, cause here's the thing you want to balance. Here's the keys for this type of shit. You want to balance patience and focus with hustle and switching it up aka never get too comfy because you you always want to you know how i told y'all in my my podcast called new experiences and cycles you want to keep doing the cycles that are working for you and that you enjoy and how how much energy you put into each cycle is different but you always want to have the the cycle of new experiences you feel me so you can learn more and expand and see what else it is that you could fucking do that you might enjoy to do you feel me and um and how much time and energy you put and effort you put into each thing like i said that's all something y'all got to figure out with your own spirits but these but the key the really the key is for this type of shit is balancing patience and focus with hustle and switching it up so if you stay hustling and stay switching it up you'll be you you'll be bound to reach new potentials you feel me and never get too comfy doing the same shit over and over again that energy might get stale you feel me you'll be able to maximize your full potential and, and grow yourself to new levels if you stay switching it up and stay hustling and utilize your time better you feel me um this spirit this this video is really for the hustler spirit so if you ain't got the spirit to go through of any of this shit i'm telling y'all you might as well click off this shit because you're wasting your time go get entertained some somewhere else because this is not for entertainment this is real shit so yeah take that that hustle and switching it up energy and then you gotta you gotta balance that with patience and focus because you also gotta have patience and focus to do whatever it is you're doing and actually stick with it and go through with it a lot of motherfuckers quit shit because they give up too early or they hadn't or they didn't learn enough within that area of life or that specific thing that they was doing that specific passion or purpose or goal they got too impatient and, and didn't learn more about it so that way they could actually expand off that shit you feel me sometimes it, it, you gotta like like you got sometimes you gotta get good at something before actually reaping the benefits out of it you feel me and it's not only that too it's like i said earlier your intent matters too um because if you if you if you if you have the intent of just making a quick buck off that shit or whatever and you don't actually really enjoy it like that then what the fuck are you doing it for you feel me like at that point the intent is fucked up and that shit is not gonna last for you you feel me that's that shit is not gonna last for you that's why you got to do this type of shit with shit that you actually really enjoy to do that you feel like would be worth it if you were to get some type of benefits or income or whatever the fuck off of it some physical shit but at the same time keep in mind don't lose your spirit in this physical world always always understand that whatever it is you do you, you want to also have that energy of man i love this i love doing this shit so much that i'm just enjoying the moment and i kind of can't put too much energy into expectations and outcomes you feel me even though this video is really based on expectations and outcomes and shit like that it's still shit you got to be careful careful with you feel me you don't want to let those energies fuck you up internally now this is why you need patience and focus and you need wisdom too to be able to um understand and know yourself well enough to be, understand that whatever it is you do in this life is really about the journey more than the fucking destination why do you think i'm telling y'all to fulfill your time with shit that you would that you would like to do you feel me and hustle on because eventually if you get paid to do the shit that you actually like doing whether it's a lot or if you're just getting by you're still better off than having to go do some other shit that you don't want to do like working a fucking job you feel me so yeah keep all that in mind don't limit yourself to just one skill um uh balance your patience balance patience focus and wisdom with hustle and swishing it up too so you can stay expanding don't don't get stuck and or too comfy doing the same shit because if you get too comfy you're not going to have that hustle and drive to switch it up and expand further and we always got to try new shit
if you are too afraid to try new shit, you're not going to grow your spirit or grow or, or go through different new experiences. And then you can't complain or bitch to spirit or the universe or what y'all humans call God. You can't bitch or complain because you didn't go out all out all the way. You didn't try what the fuck you 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 intuitively knew you could have you should have done or tried. You didn't even try. You didn't. Even, so what, what makes you think you deserve whatever the fuck it is you think you deserve if you ain't even trying and going your heart your all out hardest on it? You feel me? There's spirits out here that really about their lifestyle. There's spirits out here that really do what they do twenty four seven. Of course they're gonna be where they deserve to be at. So if you really bout it, you ain't gonna make no excuses. You're just gonna go ahead and go all out, no matter what the fuck outcome. Cause what the fuck else you gonna do? What, you're gonna sit down and chill around and waste more time? Or or, or what, you're gonna go back and clock in and and, and and do some shit you don't care about. Now you see why you gotta look <laughs> now you see why you gotta look at the, the free time you have and fulfill it? With shit that you that would be better for you in the long run, you see why how, how important and valuable your time is. I don't think y'all spirits understand. Look in the transits, Uranus and Taurus, um, and now it's going into Jupiter. So, I'm just saying, uh, we just got out. Well, we're, we're about to go into Gemini. The sun about to go into Gemini and shit. Um, uh, it's an oh, the North Node too. Shit, almost forgot. God damn it. Now, when it comes to each thing you do, I do, I do want to leave y'all with this one last thing before I did. When it comes to whatever things you do, whether you're dealing with some audio shit, like you're an audio engineer and you mix master vocals, or if you're a producer and you only do beats, or if you're a, 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 a goddamn videographer and you, and you shoot videos, or if you're an artist or a graphic designer, whatever the fuck it is you do, don't limit yourself to just one style or niche for example if you're a videographer and you usually film just music videos for musicians and you don't have enough clientele to just do music videos and you and you still have free time unfulfilled free time and you're still not fully found you don't have enough clients to have a strong enough foundation to quit your the the side hustle you do or the or the or the or the part-time job you have then if there ain't enough clientele for the music video shit, why don't you take your videographer skills and expand into some other shit? Try doing visuals for small businesses, shoot commercials for them, or, 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 or shoot little videos that they could post on their social medias or their website or whatever, you feel me? Do shit like that. Film a fucking wedding, you feel me? It's not the same as a music video and adding cool effects and doing the cool movement and shit. It would probably be a lot more mundane, but hey, would you rather do shit like that and get your own bread or, or go back and clock into that fucking part time? You see what I'm saying? Like, so don't limit yourself to just one style or niche either. I do all this shit. I'm doing all this shit. That's, I'm not even just an audio or visual dude. I'm all this shit. All this shit, spiritual sh consulting, all this shit. Probably the only thing I won't do, or maybe I will do in the future, who knows? But as of now, the only thing I'm not really considering is like NATO chart readings and shit like that, like astrology shit. I'm not sure if that's something I would like to sit down and do, but it could be another back pocket I develop in the future. Right now, it's just consultations for the spiritual shit, but you get the point. If I was just an audio engineer mixing and mastering vocals, I wouldn't also be able to offer artists beats if I wasn't a producer, if I was just mixing and mastering vocals. That's just staying into one little thing within a whole genre or, or business, which would be the music industry. You feel me? Um, I got deep into all that shit. I know I even know how to collect my own royalties. I could fucking manage motherfuckers if I wanted to. I could start a goddamn label if I really wanted to, but that's I'm not in the, at that point yet. You feel me? But other than that, though, or I could help other motherfuckers be independent musicians or whatever the fuck. I, I, could, I could charge for that shit. Um, I'm going to start putting out videos on how to copyright your shit and how to do this, that, and the third and certain tutorials for beats. I'm going to do all that too. This channel about to expand, y'all. I'm about to do a lot more. Y'all about to see. Um, but you see what I'm trying to say? Like, don't just li don't limit yourself anywhere. Um, uh, if you're a producer and you only make one type of beat and that's your main style, 
but you have other clients who have different styles or you have potential clients that have different styles but they they can't they're not fucking with your little niche style why don't you try to expand into their styles there's so much different shit y'all could do now like i said if you already have a fully solid foundation on whatever it is you're doing, okay, you, you don't got to do as much switching up or different type of broad reaching to other audiences and different types of spirits and people and shit. You don't got to if you already have a solid foundation, but just know you can expand further though. There, the option is always there. Now, if you don't have a solid foundation, if you don't have that, that uh, good solid stability and, and, and income, and you still gotta work underneath some part-time shit that you don't care about, and you have free time. If you have the free time to do to do whatever the fu to to expand and try new shit, you do that shit. You do that shit. Don't just limit yourself to just oh I only do music videos, like the videographer example I said. No, you do as much shit you can with that fucking camera. You could even do photo shoots for certain models and shit. Like, y'all y'all humans don't know. Like, there's so many different ways to go about shit, shit like this. And the, like I said earlier in this video, the more skills you have and the more knowledge and awareness and, and the more you know, man, the more you, the more you have to offer, the more you could get back from the world. And that's pretty much all I had to say, y'all. Peace. Utilize everything you know and like to do. You are a walking world full of different businesses and each business is just another side of you or another skill that you have. Whether it's an actual creative skill or a, 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 a social skill or a, whatever the fuck is a spiritual skill or whatever the fuck a, a, a physical know-how skill on something or a certain specific passion or purpose whatever the fuck y'all get the point peace